Oh ternyata inilah tanggapan orang-orang Amerika selama ini tentang kelapa sawit ya saya juga baru baru paham ya tentang ternyata jika menanam kelapa sawit di Amerika itu dianggap dapat namun di sini dia baru sadar bule asing ini ya baru sadar bahwa kenyataannya ya di Malaysia dia baru tahu hal ini tentang Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And welcome back to my youtube channel Selamat datang, selamat berkunjung kembali ke channel ini Halo guys, apa kabar? Hari ini kita bertemu lagi bersama Indra SFN Channel Tentunya saya selalu mendoakan seperti biasa Semoga kita semua dalam keadaan baik-baik saja Sehat selalu jasmani dan rohaninya Serta segala macam kegiatan dan aktivitas kita Semoga diberikan kemudahan dan kelancaran oleh Tuhan yang Maha Kuasa Amin Ya Robbal Alamin Oke, di sini rupanya ada satu kisah yang akan kita angkat. Kisah yang bagaimana ya guys saya ceritakan. Ini adalah sebuah kisah yang menarik namun penduh tanda tanya. Karena hingga hari ini, hingga saat ini, saya masih menyimpan rasa tanda tanya besar di dalam kepala saya. Mengapa pasangan asal Amerika Serikat mengatakan hal atau memberikan statement seperti ini guys. Oke, kita awali cerita ini tentang kisah uh, pasangan asal Amerika Serikat yang mana? Dia mengatakan bahwa hal apapun terkait tentang kelapa sawit di Amerika Serikat itu adalah satu hal yang negatif. Nah, itu adalah satu statement yang dia katakan tentang kelapa sawit di Amerika. Pokoknya apapun tentang kelapa sawit di Amerika itu adalah satu hal yang negatif. Ia mengatakan hal demikian. Namun, setibanya pasangan ini ke negara Malaysia, ya, dia begitu heran mengapa Kelapa sawit di Malaysia ini menjadi satu hal yang positif. Rupanya guys, rupanya setelah dia pelajari dan lebih mendalami lagi tentang kelapa sawit di Malaysia. Dan pada akhirnya ya pasangan bule asing ini baru sadar ya. Dan itu dapat merubah mindset dia selama ini terkait hal negatif tentang kelapa sawit. Oke, ini ada penuh tanda tanya besar guys. Pertanyaan yang pertama, mengapa kelapa sawit ini menjadi hal negatif di negara Amerika Serikat? Dan yang kedua, pelajaran atau hal apa sih yang mereka pelajari di Malaysia sehingga itu dapat merubah mindset mereka tentang kelapa sawit di Malaysia? Oke sebelum kita lanjut, alangkah baiknya bagi anda yang belum support Silahkan kalian dukung dulu channel ini dengan mengklik tombol subscribe Dan aktifkan notifikasi bell agar tidak ketinggalan update video terbaru dari channel ini Langsung saja guys, apa yang dilakukan oleh bule asing di Malaysia ini Apa yang mereka have you here? We are two. And Marissa no tear I ride at the front And I'm in the rear We travel the world and we pack too much gear Oh, all the places we'll go Through rain and through sleet and through mud and through snow Oh All the things we'll see We've been to a country or two Or three Oh, all the fun we've had You have you along would make us real glad So give us a like and hit subscribe To join us along our epic ride That morning we woke up to us Insanely stunning view. Oh my goodness, Mount Kinabalu in all of its glory right in front of us. Wow. The night before we had bought these little like donut ball things. Yeah. Mm, so good. Biscoff. And Biscoff. Oh. But we had our little balcony. And I had, I was able to make some coffee. I had these Biscoff donuts. I had the view of the century. Oh my gosh! Just absolutely insanely stunning. Mount Kinabalu is the tallest mountain of the entire island of Borneo. Borneo is a huge mountainous island as well. So it is the third largest island on Earth, and this is the tallest mountain on it, and it is. Massive, so cool just to open up our doors with a fresh, cool morning breeze. Very, very rare in Malaysia. 
and because we were at high altitude and just see that mountain. Wow. Yeah. Cantiknya, guys. Kita pause dulu dan lihat ya bagaimana alam yang sangat indah tersaji ya saat kita melihat pemandangan ini, guys. Di Malaysia bagian Borneo ini memang nggak kalah menariknya ya kalau kita lihat wisata alamnya sungguh sangat indah, guys. Terutama kalau pagi hari ya. Waduh. Ini gunung juga di, diselimuti oleh awan. Oh, pokok pemandangan original yang sangat-sangat menyejukkan mata, guys. Oh. Baik. Baik. Wow. <tuh> We see all these little dirt roads that that cut into the the palm oil uh, yeah. plantations and again they you know every dirt road I look at just like I bet that went somewhere cool it looked cool it looked beautiful yeah and I wanted to get into the the thick the heart of palm oil country and it's fun going off-road on that little KTM 250 it is <laughs> I, we were rocketing down bumping bump, ba -da -bump. yeah yeah, it was super cool. <laughs> Go real McCoy. Yes. But as we were riding down these little dirt roads and absorbing the beauty for what it is, right? Because it has a certain um, exoticness to it, to us as Americans. It you know? does. It's and, very beautiful. And then there's little rivers. So it was very adventurous to us. But, you know, it did recall back to some of the things that I've heard of yeah. um, regarding palm oil. Palm oil is everywhere not only in Malaysia and Indonesia, the largest producers of it in the world, but also probably in your kitchen and bathroom. According to gesturezoo.org, which has a really great breakdown of its pros and cons, palm oil is used in foods such as cake, chocolate, biscuits, margarine, and frying oils. It's also in cosmetics like soap, shampoo, and cleaning products. They say up to 50% of average supermarket products have palm oil in it. So there are some pros. Growing palm oil trees is the most efficient use of land producing oil. These trees have twice as much productivity as coconut trees and 30 times as much as corn. That is crazy to me. Yeah, and we come from a land of corn. Yes, we do. We're from yes. Chicago, yeah. the Midwest. It, and we don't think twice about planting corn out there. And that corn isn't really used for eating. That yeah. corn is used for Guys, kita animal feed dulu. and oils such as canola. Oil. Yeah. Dan di sini kita bahas ya. Ternyata mereka di Chicago ya biasa uh, menggunakan atau mengolah minyak dari jagung ya guys ya. Dan di sini bahwa mereka baru sadar ya ya betapa pentingnya kelapa sawit ya yang mereka anggap negatif di awalnya ternyata apa yang mereka katakan negatif tersebut ini telah mereka konsumsi sehari-hari ya guys ya. Dan mereka baru tahu hal itu seperti kosmetik, minyak goreng dan juga mentega serta lain sebagainya termasuk sabun mandi ya guys ya. Dan tentunya itu hal yang sangat-sangat membantu dan itu adalah sebuah kebutuhan utama dalam kehidupan. Nah tentunya itu tidak bisa uh, mereka tampi bahwa hal yang negatif mereka anggap di awal itu adalah kelapa sawit. Ternyata itu adalah sebuah hal positif yang mereka konsumsi setiap hari. <laughs> Oke. Okay. Oil or ethanol, things like that. And to think that palm oil is 30 times more efficient in its land use than corn, that's remarkable. Prairie land is beautiful in its own right and as a habitat to lots of things as well. But I mean, I think so, a lot of the negativity comes from the fact that the rainforest has the home of yes. so many species and so many, you know, we're still discovering species like nearly yes. daily um, within these rainforests. And, they suck all of the, the carbon and oh. make oxygen like 
they're the lungs of the world, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas prairie land and, you know, what used to be Chicago. Yeah, we stripped it all. I mean, yeah. there's very, very, very little prairie left and we filled it all with corn and soy. Yeah. And so to come and say, well, you shouldn't be uh, having an agricultural industry here yeah. with palm oil is a bit hypocritical. But the oil itself is versatile, cheap, efficient, doesn't have smell, also creates jobs for countries like Malaysia, and is a real oh, boost yeah, to the yeah. economy. Yes, and some of the cons for palm oil is that clearing the land for palm oil plantations has resulted in the destruction of much of Borneo and Sumatra's rainforests. Places where orangutans, rhinos, pygmy elephants, and tigers once roamed freely, but are now struggling to survive. Yeah, so it's really hard just to throw a blanket statement of is it good or bad out there, because it's a little bit of both. Kind of yeah. like me, I'm, I'm not 100% good, not 100% bad. And depending on who you talk to, there's strong opinions of both. <laughs> But, you know, we've met people who have palm oil plantations and it yes. really, really, really helps their family and it gives them a little bit of wealth and so it's really positive. Absolutely. Um, and we all may have seen documentaries on Netflix of, you know, sad orangutans and yeah. a horrible environment of, you know, so we understand both sides. That's right. And the solution that I kept hearing about when we were back in the States is, well, just don't buy products that have palm oil in it which first of all is very hard to do since so many products rely on it. But second of all, it doesn't really solve the problem because some economists say that if you were to just boycott all products with palm oil in it, then they're just going to look for another resource, another type of oil that they need in these products. And those oils are probably way more environmentally destructive than palm oil is. No, in a world without cake and <laughs> butter, cosmetics, that's the world I don't want to live in. There is thankfully a way of doing this sustainably and that is a way of producing palm oil without so further guys. deforestation. Malay oh ternyata inilah tanggapan orang-orang Amerika selama ini tentang kelapa sawit ya. Saya juga baru baru paham ya tentang ternyata jika menanam kelapa sawit di Amerika itu dianggap dapat merusak lingkungan dan juga merusak Hutan hujan, ya, mungkin juga habitat-habitat hewan akan punah, ya. Itu adalah se uh, sebuah kabar penting. Jika menanam pohon sawit di Amerika, hal itu akan terjadi, ya, guys, ya. Namun itu tentu berlainan jika mereka masuk ke Malaysia. Karena manfaat sawit itu sungguh sangat besar. Selain untuk meningkatkan lapangan pekerjaan. Karena memang minyak kelapa sawit dapat bermanfaat untuk banyak hal. Membuat banyak produk, ya, guys, ya. Hah, kita lanjut lagi. Play. Asia and Indonesia are working hard to make this industry more sustainable and without deforestation. You can look for products that are certified by the Round Table of Sustainable Palm Oil, or RSPO, and it's even approved by environmental organizations like the WWF, Save the Rhino and the Sumatran Orangutan Society, and Greenpeace. For more information on palm oil, we found a really great site that you should check out at chesterzoo.org. All of this is kind of rolling through our heads as we're enjoying this ride. She's nice and muddy. Yay! We pulled over and a gentleman on a four-wheeler you know, pulled up and he had like this Hello. sickle and, you know. Yes, he was a worker there at the plantation. Yeah, and he spent some time to talk to us in, in broken English and broken Malay. We're just uh, exploring. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just for photo op. Somewhere, uh, USA. USA? Yeah. You want to take a photograph? Please, please. It was just a good conversation that we had with somebody in a beautiful part of the world. So after our little ride through 
Dan guys itu tadi video yang baru saja sama-sama kita saksikan ya kita reaksi ya dan di sini ya bahwa ternyata memang anggapan orang-orang Amerika untuk menanam sawit di negara tersebut ternyata ada dampak negatif ya yang mereka rasakan mungkin selama ini mereka itu meneliti tentang pohon sawit tersebut jadi mereka menegaskan bahwa untuk menanam sawit di Amerika itu eh, sangat tidak cocok dan bernilai negatif ya namun hal berbeda saat pasangan asal Amerika ini masuk ke negara Malaysia guys Mereka di situ banyak belajar tentang sawit Karena apa? Karena mereka juga heran Mengapa sih begitu mudah ditemukan tanaman sawit di Malaysia Dan apa dampaknya bagi perekonomian masyarakat Ternyata ya setelah ditelusuri semakin dalam Kita lihat dan kita dapat menyimpulkan bahwa Ada peran yang sangat besar tentang kelapa sawit Berguna untuk Uh, kemajuan perekonomian masyarakat setempat guys ya karena apa kita telah banyak mengetahui ya fungsi dari minyak kelapa sawit ini dapat membuat berbagai produk terutama untuk kosmetik untuk uh, makanan dan juga bahan-bahan um, uh, makanan di dapur ya guys seperti minyak goreng dan juga mentega sabun mandi dan lain sebagainya ya guys Malaysia Indonesia itu juga adalah salah satu Pemasok kelapa sawit terbesar dunia guys Saya juga bangga ya ketika dia juga tadi menyebutkan negara Indonesia Namun di sini dia baru sadar Bule asing ini ya baru sadar Bahwa kenyataannya ya di Malaysia dia baru tahu hal ini Tentang kelapa sawit adalah sesuatu hal yang positif Dan berlainan dengan hal yang selama ini mereka pikirkan Sewaktu mereka berada di Amerika Serikat Ya karena sesuatu hal yang terkait tentang uh, sawit ini adalah hal yang positif guys Mungkin mereka awalnya beranggapan bahwa itu akan uh, membuat polusi udara, membuat banyak hewan akan punah. Namun dia di sini baru mempelajari dampak dari penanaman sawit. Begitu sangat besar manfaatnya ya guys. Oke lagi sampai nanti video aku. Semoga video ini bermanfaat bagi kita semua. Dan aku mohon diri, mohon maaf jika ada kesalahan kata, kesalahan sikap aku kepada anda semua. Saya mohon dimaafkan dan aku akhirnya wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.